So this is a proof of concept for an air filtration device designed by Dr. Superoon and Dr. Hutchinson. The way this starts, this is a regular bag of saline. We have food coloring in for illustration here. Flows all the way down with the regular stopcocks and the regular roller. As you can see here, below the level of the patient, we have a reservoir. This can either be something malleable like blood tubing or fixed like a Buretrol, though if it is malleable, you have the ability to pump fluid through. The tubing above runs up to a empty bag of saline. This does not need to be this long. It can be just a matter of an inch above the reservoir itself, and that will actually enable collection of the air. The rest of the system flows through here, just into an outflow track. You again, you do not need the roller at this point. It's simply here because it's playing with the tubing. For demonstration purposes, we have a syringe here filled with one cc of air. We're going to inject the air at the top of the syringe so that it actually moves into the patient line first, and we'll follow the air down all the way through the trap. This time we'll use five cc's of air directly into the line. We'll follow it down with the camera and you'll see that it ends up in the air chamber and not in the distal what? tubing. Now the system is air locked slightly here so we have to wait for a few seconds for it to catch up. And you can actually squeeze the tubing itself the filter to help move the air and the fluid along in the line to prime the circuit. As we see here, the air is traveling up, goes into the filtration device, does not go into the distal portion at all, protecting the patient from any form of air emboli.